Hi everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back to Contemporary Mama and the very last episode in my Croctober series. Yes, I know October is pretty much over and next Friday is November 1st. But don't worry, I have something really special for you planned for today. I'm going to be making my favorite crock pot beef stew along with homemade garlic knots. This is such an easy fall comfort food meal and it comes together so quickly in the slow cooker. And if you are disappointed that the Crocktober series is over, have no fear, I have something else planned for you coming next month in November. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to be letting you know exactly what my new cooking series in November is going to be and it is something really special. So if you're new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. It's completely free. You just have to click the red button down below. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. So I'm getting this crock pot beef stew started by prepping all of my vegetables. I washed them all and I'm just peeling the carrots and the potatoes before I chop everything up. So in my beef stew, I like using about two large potatoes, five or six medium carrots, about four stalks of celery, eight ounces of whole mushrooms, and one to two onions, depending on how big they are. This is obviously customizable to whatever vegetables you prefer or whatever you have on hand. This is a perfect meal to use to clean out the refrigerator and use up any vegetables that might be going bad. And of course, if you wanted to make this low carb, you could substitute out those potatoes with cauliflower or turnips. You get everybody staring for days. All the sea is just a young pretty face But I'm trying to get to know you much better Don't matter how much time it will take But there's something you're trying to hide There's something you're keeping inside, inside. But I'm trying to get to Now after I spray down my slow cooker I'm going to grab my meat And for this I'm using about 2.5 pounds of boneless beef chuck roast this is what I love about using my crock pot. You can buy a very inexpensive cut of meat, cook it all day in your slow cooker, and it is going to come out so tender and delicious. Now here is where I stray a little bit from the original recipe. They suggested browning the meat first, which I don't find to be necessary at all. And trust me, I've made this for years. So after I add the meat into the crock pot, I just dump in the rest of the ingredients, which starts with a can of condensed tomato soup, followed by one and a half cups of water and two large beef bouillon cubes. Now for seasoning, I'm gonna add in three teaspoons of Italian seasoning along with some fresh ground pepper. Now all that's left is to mix in your vegetables and stir everything up so that it's well coated. Then throw in two or three bay leaves before putting on your cover and setting this to low for eight hours. Now, while I have a little time, I'm just going to start the prep for the garlic knots and these come together so easily with canned biscuit dough. So all you need to do is take one of the little biscuit circles and cut it in half. Then you can roll it with a rolling pin and roll it up until it's about like a five or six inch rope. Then all you need to do is tie this into a knot and then tuck the ends over and you have a cute little homemade garlic knot. Most cans of biscuits come with eight, so this will make 16 garlic knots. Since the day that we met 
beef stew and it's a little more watery than I like it so I'm gonna be just adding a quick cornstarch slurry that's just a fancy term for adding equal parts of cornstarch and water I'll probably do two tablespoons of each and I'll add that in and let it cook for the next two hours and it'll thicken it up so it's a nice thick stew I just can't keep up. about 30 minutes to an hour before your beef stew is ready to serve you can add in three quarters cup of frozen peas these don't take long to cook at all and i love how it adds a nice bright color to the beef stew when it's almost dinner time you can make the topping for the garlic knots you start by melting a quarter cup of unsalted butter and adding in a quarter teaspoon of salt along with a sprinkling of fresh or dried parsley flakes. Then you can add in half a teaspoon of dried oregano, three quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. You're going to brush this mixture over the top of each garlic knot and place this into a 400 degree oven. Bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes until they turn golden brown. When they're done, you want to serve them immediately and you can brush any remaining butter mixture on top. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll give this recipe a try. Please make sure you leave me a comment down below if you do, or you can tag me over on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys make my recipes. It seriously makes my day. So as promised, I'm also going to be sharing with you that next month in November, I am going to be doing a whole Thanksgiving series. I have really fun, creative ideas on how to make hosting, cooking, and preparing for Thanksgiving so much easier. So I hope that you guys will tune in. Make sure that you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of my Thanksgiving content coming up. It's going to be right around the corner, so we really want to make sure that we're well prepared so that we don't have to stress and we can enjoy the holiday with our friends and family. 
So I'm going to see you guys on Tuesday in a, with a brand new video. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!